The Battle Droid, the first infantry force that debuted in the Star Wars prequel trilogy. The Battle Droid action figures have existed since 1999. Many of them stand perfectly fine, proud and tall, ready to serve the Trade Federation, the CIS, the Separatists. Hell, they're ready to serve you in your collection. They stand beautifully. However, as time has progressed, battle droids have taken a fall. Their skinny legs no longer capable of letting them stand proud for you. Their skinny, scrawny little limbs unable to hold up even their own bodies. Look at this. Look at how gravity has claimed these sad, worthless victims to fall to the Republic and to the Clone Army. These guys don't stand a chance. However, if you give them a display base, no matter what, they will succumb. They will fall, and they will perish like the CIS dogs they are. These clankers, they need your help. They need both of their feet on a display base. If you do this, you will save the numerous lives of your little plastic droid army. They will be saved. However, some, some few, some proud can stand tall on their own. I'm talking the originals, the original 1999 battle droids. They stand proud and tall. Seriously, they're they're actually pretty tall. Did you ever did you ever notice how tall battle droids are? I mean, damn, look at that. They're huge. Some others that have been recently released try to stand up in comparison to these. Some have failed. However, this mold, the mold released, I don't know, sometime around 2010, this mold has proven itself worthy to be the true successor of the original 1999 battle droid. This is the definitive battle droid. Go out and buy one, buy two, buy them all, buy as many as you see because you will know that these stand proud and tall and they stand ready. Educate yourself on what battle droid figures will stand for you. That way, you know which battle droid figures you can stand and which battle droid figures you just can't.